When a thing defies physical law, there's usually politics involved. Droughts, floods, crop failures, and insect pests played a part in disasters like every famine of the 20th century. But they were never caused by nature. The Holodomor, China's Great Famine, the Cambodian Famine between 1975 and 1979, nothing to do with weather or acts of God. During the potato blight that starved millions of the Irish, England's corn laws made it so that other sources of food in Ireland were so expensive that they were still exporting grain during the worst of the famine years, 1846 to 1851. The British imposed systems of absentee landlords letting the gentry keep a comfortably distant perspective on the suffering of their tenants. In the Geography of Famine by David Arnold, we see that all famines in Russia from 971 to 1970 can be attributed to human factors. Since 1500, Food records from Britain and France indicate zero famines coinciding with empty national granaries. Needless to say, this is worlds apart from supply chain disruption, arson, food processing plants, grain mills, grain silos, and animal feedlots going up in flames suddenly.